Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I love plants. So I wanted to check, chat today with you about Oli, my obovata, Hoya obovata, because I discovered some pests. I've got my computer here with my microscope. If you're interested, I've linked all the products that I use in my description so you can find your own USB microscope. I noticed that Oli is growing quite well. He's got one growth point here that's put out two new bigger leaves and then he's finally growing new leaves on that as well and then there's a growth point here that's got one leaf and then the rest is a little bit stunted and this one also and there's one here in the bottom i don't know if you can see but that's not doing much since the other ones have taken off but it is grown in some kind of weird plug thingy and i noticed the watering was a little bit off, so I decided to check. Let me show you what I found. I don't know how good you will see this because I watered it. There we go. So we've got lots of disgusting looking, well, healthy looking roots as well, but uh, the white stuff, especially on this side. And it's, I've seen white stuff before on plants, that's not so bad. But what I saw today, or yesterday actually, was bugs in the white stuff. And apparently they are root mealy bugs. I just told a friend, Caitlin, yesterday that I've never had mealy bugs. Well, now I do. And she asked if I was willing to film them with my microscope. So yes, of course I am. Let's take a little look at these crawling, creepy bugs. So this is what they look like. Ugh. They move quite... Oh, there's small ones as well. What is that? Is that a spider mite? Are they eating the spider mites? Because then you can stay. Let's take a look. What's happening here? Ooh, sorry. They look adorable. No, spider mite thingy is still there. There's a few more here. Ooh, there's a lot more here. Oh, look on the right corner there. Huh? Those are a lot smaller. Wait, so there's, there's really small ones. Oh no, there's two different kinds. What is that about? Oh, and they're eating away at all these roots. These are the big ones. You can see how much difference there is in size. These ones you can see with the naked eye and the other ones I hadn't spotted before. Actually, it looks quite cute. You might disagree with me. Hey, little buddy. What's happening? That looks like a baby fat one. But the other ones were very different looking. Now, of course, whoop, the big question is, what are we going to do about them? Here they're sucking away at the roots of Ollie, which we don't want. <gasps> I think I found a nest or something. Gross. Did you see the little one coming out? Okay, these are pretty creepy. I'm gonna stay here for a little while to show you some fun creepiness. Ah. Oh shit. Those little paws. Legs. What are they called? Let's see if we can find some more of the small ones. This is pretty difficult. There's a little one on the right. They look very similar to the fat ones, only a little bit more active and a little bit more small. And this is something else again. I'm worried that spider mites.
See, that looks like the red spider mites I had on my other plant. Where did you go? This pot is crawling with bugs everywhere. That's not good. I'm sorry, Ollie. Ugh, lots of eggs here, can you see? All the little sacks. Ugh. Okay, so how we treat what I researched yesterday about rude mealy bugs is that um, hydrogen peroxide, 3%, should work to kill them off. But I see a lot more on the roots, so I'm not sure if just letting it sit in hydrogen peroxide will work. And people have asked me before, is it not going to burn the roots? What I've learned from my orchid time, I watched a lot of orchid videos back in the day from Miss Orchid Girl, Danny. She knows a lot about orchids. She always sprays off orchid roots that are not doing well. Actually, I think all of her plants with a hydrogen peroxide 3% just to kill off any bacterial stuff. And I don't know what that's not supposed to be there. And she uses it all the time and it doesn't do anything to orchid roots. I did notice that it did maybe damage the caladium leaves. I used it on a little bit because they are so fragile. But yeah, um, it shouldn't hurt too much. And it will kill these buggers. Let's just take out the roots out of this soil and see what happens. This is going to be pretty gross and I have no um, handschoene, gloves. My brain is still not working very well. <gasps> I just found a nest of white inside. I need something to poke with without it being my fingers. Pen. Pen can work. And stupidly enough, after watering this guy yesterday, I poured out the... I like to let it uh, absorb water and then dunk it and I dunk the water out into another plant so I might have to check that plant for all these bugs as well which sucks I have to be very careful not to hurt the new growth points but I keep finding these white bits inside the root bulb which freak me out I might have to break some of these roots just to get the white off. That's sad, but I've had so many pests this year and this last year. It's crazy. But I mean, it makes for fun videos. Let's head over to the sink and Carefully rinse these off. Kind of don't want to touch with my hands, but I don't want to break them either. After taking a bit more soil off with my hands, <sighs> I'm so brave. I rinsed off the roots as best as I can. And the pan is here just to make sure that the drain doesn't get even more clogged with soil. Whoops. In the little plug, in the little coconut plug I found pests so I decided to pull off all the bits of plug after this can you see like all the way inside the plug was a whole nest of white buggers so I took that off and then I cleaned off the older roots and rinsed off even more until I just had a little root bowl left not a lot of roots but the ones I left were pretty healthy Maggie came to help with the last bit she's adorable she loves water And then I put it in a little bowl with the hydrogen peroxide. I didn't have that much left, uh, so I used my spray, which is a mix of hydrogen peroxide, 3% and water, to spray the leaves as well. And I added some water because I wanted all the roots to sit underwater. And you'll see it starting to fizz. This is right after, and you see a little bit of bubbles. But after a little while, you saw much more bubbles, and that means that the material that you don't want to be on there is starting to die. So that's awesome. I love the bubbles. <laughs> Very satisfying.
After taking away the bits that still had white in it and letting it soak in the hydrogen peroxide for a while, I potted it back up in a smaller pot because the roots were much less big. And now I'm gonna water it and hope that it recovers because that was a pretty intense move for a little Ollie. All his roots taken away, but it seems like he kept trying to put out new roots and the bugs kept eating them. So there were a lot of half dead new roots. So I hope he gets a little bit better here and is able to put out roots like he was supposed to. This is the new pot with sprayed leaves. I hope these will continue to grow because they are adorable, but at least he's free of pests now, hopefully. Have you ever seen these kind of bugs before? I'm really curious. It was the first time that I saw them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're interested. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.